Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and today I'm trying a cider I have not had before. This is Frills. It's their first press vintage cider. Um, 7.4% by volume in a 500ml bottle, so that's quite a heavy hitter. Uh, and I know next to nothing about this cider other than what I've read on the back of the bottle. Um, there's a sticker on the front, and I'll put a close up. Uh, it said um, World Cider Awards, Best British Sparkling, uh, and there's an 18 in the O of the world, so I'm assuming that's 2018. Um, bum, 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 bum. So, first press vintage, the first of us, it doesn't say which vintage. Go by this, it's 2018 perhaps. Um, just tell me the apples that it's done. Um, Red Fox staff, Katie, Windsor varieties. Um, okay, it's a Hereford cider, or there's no geographic protection on the back. Mm, okay, really interested. Let's get this open. It does say on the front. Uh, ooh, gas, 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 gas. I tell you, I've been reviewing some crap today, so I'm really looking forward to having a half decent drink. Okay. What I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted by carbonation, it says that expertly crafted in small batches. Now, when something says small batch, I always think that, you know, it's a half dozen barrels out the back somewhere. But Frills is... Uh, very popular and those small batches ain't that small you know a couple of <laughs> what, 20 30 thousand gallons okay we have a lovely amber crystal clear amber quite a not a roaring carbonation but quite a lively carbonation there Oh, now I'm really excited. On the nose. Funky. <laughs> really, yeah, that sort of funky. It's kind of really difficult to describe. It's sort of... Until you've smelt it. Yeah, it's just a fuggy, almost mouldy, yeah. composty. And it's something that I associate with a really good cider. You don't get it on all these sort of um, manufactured ciders. You only get it on a real cider and it's something that I've come to. And it sounds revolting. You think, well, you're sticking your nose in something that smells mouldy. It's just part of the fermentation process, the gases that come up, the natural... Oh. Okay, here goes. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Coats the palate. The, bitty, the bitterness from a tannings is different from the bitterness from a hops that you get with a beer. Um, I always associate it with a good mature marmalade. I know that's mixing apples and oranges, but bear with me. So good, that sort of deep bitterness that coats the palate if you're, you know, your toast and marmalade. You get this from... Really nice. It's quite a light. You would not know that this is a 7.4. See, it's 7.4. No hint of alcohol. That's that quiet lethality that cider can have. The flavour doesn't stay. It's quite fresh, quite light, um, like a like a good bitter. The kind of flavour sort of lingers and mellows over the palate, but this sort of washes over. And then sort of goes, but very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that is really good. So, would I recommend this? Absolutely. This is a really good cider. It's not overly sweet. If I'm honest, personally, I would like it a little bit drier. I always like a dry, a dry cider. Uh, um, one of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, a friend of mine 
uh, when I was working in Bristol, would go to these cider farms uh, and uh, you know the stuff that they sort of sell it in a in a in a two litre plastic container. And I said to him, "If you're going, can you just pick me up a dry one?" And he tell uh, you know dry cider. He tells this story where this guy literally goes into a back room. Um, and Dan follows him, and there's about three or four massive big barrels. And the guy sort of licks the first one, the tap of the first one. No, 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 I'd between that one. And he goes along. No, that, that would be the medium. And then he gets to the last one, and Dan said he went, Oh, that's dry, that one. I had two litres of God's nectar. It was as dry as a badger's ass, and absolutely fantastic. Um, not quite this, you know, this could be that dry. Oh. I'm waffling now. Look, highly recommended. Cheers.